Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about different ways of setting up CSS rules. So let's uh, look at a, a blank HTML file. I have index.html. Let me open it with top style. And the place where you want to place your style tag is inside the head tag. So let's do that. Okay, so you see that's a style tag and inside you have type equals text slash CSS. So this is where you declare all your style sheet rules. Okay, and let's say we want uh, to set up a style sheet for, um, uh, let's say we have a h1 tag, right? h1 tag like that. This is the title. Okay. If we want to, uh, the first way we can do it is we can just target the HTML tag and give it some uh, properties. Okay. So let's say we want to set the h1. You can just do that. Oops. Okay. So let me take the spaces out for you. It looks much better this way. Okay. So, as you can see, we can directly uh, call h1, okay, and change the value of h1, uh, its characteristics. Okay, let's say we want to change its color to red. That's all you do. You have this is called a selector. Okay, H1 is the selector. It's selecting the H1 tag within the HTML file. It's setting the property, which is color, okay, to red. Okay, and so as you can see, the property, and then you separate it by a colon. Uh, you can have or not have space here this will be the ending value and then remember to end your rule with a semicolon okay let's save it minimize it let's see what we get in our browser so you see uh, this was supposed to be black the color now it's red okay and that's what we want Okay, this is the first way. Uh, there's a second way where you can uh, create a class. Okay, and you do that by doing a dot and then giving it a class name. Uh, class name can be mm, blue. Okay, and then you do the same thing. Uh, top style automatically. Um, closes the bracket for you and uh, gives you uh, one line of it, one one empty line so you can uh, input property values. Okay, so let's ch uh, make color blue like that. Okay, and let's have something else here. Let's have a span, okay, of line one text inside. So we can actually set a class equals blue like that. And the, the text line one is supposed to become blue. Okay, let's save it. See what we get. So you see the text is blue now. Okay. And uh, there is a third way. Let's have another, let's have a div. Okay, line two. Okay, uh, we can set up an ID like that. Okay, uh, we have um, blue, let's try green. Okay, like that. And let's set the color to green. Okay, 
And inside the HTML tag, all you have to do is do ID equals green. So it knows that when whenever there's an HTML tag that has ID equals green, it'll apply this property. Okay, let's save it and see what we get. So H1 is red, line 1 is blue, line 2 is green, and that's what we want. Okay, so think of this as the selector, okay, and this is the property, and this is the value. Okay, that's it for this screencast. Thank you.